Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Memphis Hope Christian Church Sunday morning, Sunday school. Uh, thank you for being here this morning. I uh, just want to take time out to wish my mother happy Mother's Day, Wilma Hutchings, and uh, my uh, mother in law, uh, Beverly Hutchings, and my beautiful wife, Beverly Hutchings, happy Mother's Day, as well as happy Mother's Day to my pastor, Pastor Floyd Williams, and my Reverend, Reverend Thompson. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. And we got, and I want to wish uh, all those listening to us, all the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. Amen. And we're going to continue diving in into Deuteronomy. We're finally in the closing chapters of that, but uh, it's so good that it may take, we may not get it done today or the next Sunday. It just depends on how the Lord moves us. Amen. 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 So again, welcome to uh, Ministries of Hope Christian Church Sunday morning Bible study. And we're going to ask the Lord to bless this study this morning. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we gather together, we praise you for this day and your purpose for it. Open our minds, hearts, and ears as we sit in your presence. For you assured us that we're two or more together in your name. You are here. Help us to focus our intentions on your will for our lives and to seek you first in all that we do. Grant us peace in knowing we are Pursuing your purpose for our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Uh, uh, again, uh, on the panel, we have uh, our pastor, Pastor Floyd Williams, Reverend Thompson, uh, Reverend Hutchings, uh, Brother Thompson, and myself, uh, Brother Hutchings. With that, we'll pass it over to Reverend Thompson. Thank you, Brother Hutchings. Amen. Good morning and happy Mother's Day to all the listeners out there. It's a thankless job sometimes, but with God, we can overcome it all. Amen. So we're going to keep on going. We were in Deuteronomy last time. We were before you. We talked about those cursings. We talked about the punishments of what will happen if they don't do what thus say the Lord and start going a whoring after other gods. Um, so we're continuing on as Moses is clo closing out his walk with these people um, and as they get ready to take over this promised land that God has promised them. So we're uh, picking up at the Levites in charge of the book of law, and that's in Deuteronomy, which is in the Old Testament. And we're in chapter 31 and we're picking up at verse 24. So Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 24, amen. Um, and as always, we're reading out of the King James Version, unless we otherwise state. Uh, Brother Hutchings, if you want to go ahead and start that off there, verse 24 through 27. I'll take that for me. And it came, verse 24, and it came to pass when Moses has made an end of writing the words of the law in a book, until they were finished, that Moses commanded the Levites, which have um, bear the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, saying, Take this book of law and put it in the side of the put it in the side of the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God, that it may be there for a witness against thee. For I know thy rebellion and thy stiff naked. Behold, while I am yet alive, that uh, with you this day ye have been rebellious against the Lord, and how much more after my death. Amen. Amen. And uh, <clears throat> may not seem like a lot there, but that is a lot yeah. because. Yeah. Um, Moses was seeing in the future, more or less. Remember, Moses, Moses was a prophet. Mm -hmm. So God put words, thoughts, everything in Moses' mind for him to deliver to the people. Mm -hmm. So Moses knew what they were going to do the same way he had been with them since coming out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. And what had they done every time that God would put them on that right path and they start um, flourishing, what would they do? Mm -hmm. Go right back. Yeah. Uh -huh. Moses up there getting the uh, law from the Lord. What did mm -hmm. they do? They turn mm -hmm. around and start going back into idolatry. Then mm -hmm. what did they do? We should have stayed in Egypt. We had it better there than we're having it here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as an old saying, a leopard never changes his spots. Mm -hmm. So Moses is saying, mm -hmm. you're going to do it again. Yeah. But here, what I'm doing here, I am 
letting you know what's going to happen when you do it again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The same God that has been showing you different things, he's going to continue being there. Mm -hmm. And when you disobey him, mm -hmm. what, uh, what do I always say? There's a consequence mm -hmm. for your action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay. Mm -hmm. I also like um, this verse 24. Someone read the commentary on 24, please. The statement that Moses wrote all the statement that Moses wrote all the words of the law in a book until they were finished attest to the ancient tradition of this authorship of the book of Deuteronomy, the law clearly intended here. Okay. Mm -hmm. In other words, it says in all of the book on Deuteronomy, and that like she like uh, Reverend Thomas said when we that started out, all of the blessings, yeah. all of the curses mm -hmm. is tied up in this book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Not just that it's just about Deuteronomy, but it's from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Amen. From creation up until this point. The first five, yeah. That's right. He's, mm -hmm. he, he laid it all out in these sermons. Yeah. Now you may not want to hear it, but it's best that you listen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the same God that created you is the same God that's here today. The same God that brought you out of bondage mm -hmm. and delivered you is the same God that mm -hmm. you should be obeying. But what it says, I know you're going to do what you did before. You're going to be stiff neck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it gets better. It mm -hmm. gets better. So it's just. Uh, that's, I, I, that's good I, remembrance I, right I, there. I like I like the fact that they wrote it and saved it and put it in the in the covenant. Um, um, because if they didn't do that, if Moses didn't do that, we wouldn't have it today. And as he says, he, he knows that we in the future, I look at that verse in 27 and it's talking to us today. We are rebellious and we need to look back that is why you cannot just study the new testament you got to look back over the old testament you got to get it and if, if you don't get it you're not going to understand where you're coming from because th this is why moses went over everything that the ancestor did in the wilderness so that us the children ahead don't stumble at, or have some some reference point to go back to to learn from he said the future generations just flip yeah. over uh, mm -hmm. based on that uh flip over there to verse 7 uh 32 and that will sum up what you were saying mm -hmm. verse 7 of 32. it says mm -hmm. remember the days of old considering the years of many generations as thy father and ask thy father and he will show thee the elders and thy will tell and they will tell me. Mm -hmm. And that's why um is it Lazarus um anyway, whenever rich man asked Father Abraham send the brothers back, he says, Rem if you didn't remember the prophets of old and what went on then, how are they gonna remember somebody from the dead? Mm -hmm. So what he's saying there that you must remember. Yeah. And to us today, we must remember what this word is saying, mm -hmm. because we must remember that what is in the book of Sam Samuel, obedience is better than sacrifice. Mm -hmm. If we don't do what God says do, we think that we're getting away, away with it. We think that there's not going to be anything happening there. But we too, we, we are going to be um, penalized for what we do. Yeah. Yeah. Hold accountable. Yeah. And sometimes if it doesn't fall on us with the way we carry ourselves, it can fall on the next generation. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. That was what um stuck out to me, remembering that Moses authored those first five books, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, which we all have been walking through together. So when you start from the beginning, there's disobedience in that garden. You keep on going. Then Noah's day, God uh, started over, basically wiped them out and started over with the flood. And then you keep on going. You have Abraham and then you keep on going. You got Isaac and you keep on going. You see the pattern. So when he gets here in Deuteronomy, he's telling them from experience. This, when you look at all of that, 
that beginning from now, you're seeing the pattern that's there, as Pastor said, the, that pattern that's there. I know who you are. This is the history as it's repeating itself. So I know exactly what you're about to do before you even know what you're about to do. As Because mm -hmm. in verse seven, as they read in 32, generations, okay. generations has passed from Adam all the way down right. to Moses. Down. You know? mm -hmm. So all this book that he had left, the, these first five books, when you put it and look at it from totality of everything we've been studying, you see the pattern, you know, right. you see the pattern of God knowing before anything, before anybody moves of what they're going to do. And you see the pattern of them following what they're going to do, going back, being stiff necked. So I, th I think that's interesting to see because that shows that even now God knows what we and do after, we today. You as know? we continue to read, we're going to see how many times. Those yeah. Israelites, it, it gets better here, but how many times those Israelites disobeyed. Yeah. Yeah. So that says to us today, we're not going to always be in the will of God. Amen. Amen. We'll say that, oh, yes, we are Christians. We're not going to do this and we're not going to do that. But first and foremost, Amen. you're human. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is why he gives us an opportunity to pray, ask for forgiveness yeah. and repent of our sins because yeah. he says, he knows, he knew mm -hmm. they were going to, uh, no, well, it gets better. Let me yeah. stop. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so so this shows like, to his faithfulness, you know, yes. that even with that covenant, he still kept it going through generations. And now all that Genesis to now is leading up to where they're about to go in Joshua. He was making promise, promise to them, promise to your fathers, promise to them. And now we're seeing that fulfillment come in Joshua hundreds of years oh. later. You know, mm -hmm. I right, read uh, 3126, please. Uh, commentary it says the stone tablets of the Decalogue had already been placed inside the Ark of the Covenant. And now the book of the law, no doubt Deuteronomy, must be housed in the most holy place beside the Ark, mm -hmm. which represented the earthly dwelling place of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we know that that was uh, symbolic. I always tell you, we're touchy-feely people. We have to see it or touch it to believe it. So mm -hmm. God wasn't just in that ark. He was all around them. He was over mm -hmm. them. He'd been leading them and guiding them. But they needed something for them to really... Yeah. He's there. He's right there in that box. Yeah. If that kept them in line, fine. But no, it didn't keep them in line because God is never housed in any place. He's yeah. all around and all over. Uh, they reference Exodus 20 and, I mean, 25 and what? 16. 25 and 16. And what did I say? And I shall put into the ark uh, the tablet, which I have. Anyway, he tells them <laughs> that's where it should go. In, the, in that ark, because it is in that ark, as he will see that ark. What did it, what did you read that that was a holy, he, holy place, that mm -hmm. ark was holy? Yes, ma'am. Today, we have to have something as well. And really the house of prayer, which is quote unquote, the church, that should be a holy place. Mm -hmm. But like you said, we got that temple. Mm -hmm. And we, we put have, it we in our hearts. Temple. Yes, it, yeah. that, there you go. It should, yeah. should first, oh boy, and Peter, what is it that uh, our judgment should first start? Come on. At the house with the righteous people. Mm. So yes, it should be with us. But yeah. a place building for us to go should be the church and that should be yeah. holy. When yeah. all of us assemble there together, we should be, uh, with let this mind be in me, which was also in Christ Jesus. We should be Christ-minded, Christ-like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But now, rather than that, people are not going to the ark. They're running away from it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But there will be, there is already, there is a penalty for what we are doing today. Amen. One of them is the plague we see going on around here today. Amen. That virus Amen. is nothing but a plague. Okay. Amen. All right. That was Amen. We have a, um, Israel gathers to hear Moses. Uh, verses 28 through 30, Brother Thompson. Amen. Verse 28. Gather unto me all the elders of your tribes and your officers, 
that I may speak these words in their ears and call heaven and earth to record against them. For I know that after my death, ye will utterly corrupt yourselves and turn aside from the way which I have commanded you. And evil will befall you in latter days. Um, because ye will do evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger through the work of your hands. Mm -hmm. And Moses spake in the ears of all the congregation of Israel the words of this song until they were ended. Amen. In other words, he says, don't let the elders and the officers be behind. Bring mm -hmm. them up front. Mm -hmm. Because even when I'm here, even when uh, Joshua steps forth, he too is going to have to have help. Remember, jo mm -hmm. Joshua was mentored from way back. Mm -hmm. These elders and the officers, they have to know what's going on because they could very well, they could have very well said, well, we didn't know. Yeah. But Moses said, bring them up, each one from your tribes, bring them up front. Yeah. So that they can hear, not basically his word, but hear the word of the Lord. Yeah. And this is what we as people today, we're supposed to be hearing the word of the Lord because once our eyes are glued shut, our tongue glued to the top of our mouth, we can no longer hear the word of the Lord or speak the word of the Lord. Yeah. Serve him while we have a chance. Mm -hmm. And this is what Moses was trying to put over to them. He says, uh, for I know that after my death, you will utterly corrupt, corrupt yourself and, other, oh, and turn away from uh, the way which he has commended. In other mm -hmm. words, that evil was going to come forth yeah. after he has passed on. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can say, oh, yes, I'm going to serve the Lord. I, I, I'm not going to sin. I'm not going to do this. and I'm not going to do that. But sometimes... When things look so good and so tempting, God doesn't tempt us. Mm -hmm. When other things look tempting, I'll just do this one time. Mm -hmm. I'll try this one time. Mm -hmm. I know I'm not supposed to, but just this one time. And sometimes mm -hmm. one time come two times. It's two, it, one time is too many. That's right. So what we do, we're turning away. What did he say? You turn away mm -hmm. from the Lord. Mm -hmm corrupt yourselves and this mm -hmm. is why he tells us that we're supposed to be surrounded by uh by people with the same mind more or less christ-minded yeah mm -hmm. you know yeah. but don't get me wrong you can always go into sin the house of sinners i'm gonna take that back go into the house of sinners but you're going in there with a purpose yeah you're taking jesus with you. didn't jesus go into zacchaeus house amen and sup with him? Didn't he do that? Mm -hmm. And the, the, his guys was out there telling me he's going. They're going. He's in there with those sinners. But he wasn't going in there to be like them. He wanted them to be like him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So whenever we go in to a place that we know what's going on in there, we're not going in there to do what they do. Yeah. <laughs> If nothing else, don't go in there and hit the people upside the Bible, uh, upside the head with a Bible. Like you put out and cuss down. Yeah. But it's the way you carry yourself yeah. in a godly manner. Yeah. They yelling and cursing, you come across real low mm -hmm. with a nice low monotone. Mm -hmm. Don't one time snarl up your nose at them like I'm better than you are. Huh? You're not where I am. Mm -hmm. You get cussed out and put out. <laughs> But go in there with a nice monotone. Show yourself as a godly person. Yeah. Trust me, you think that they wouldn't see it? Yeah. They'll know right then there's something different about that person. Well, well you kindness. used to be like this. You used to be mm -hmm. that loving kindness I'm under on the you used to be like this. Now you did just don't don't pay that any attention. Yes, you're right. And just mm -hmm. Then when you go, you know you've left something of God behind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It um, referenced Judges chapter 2, verse 19. And okay. it uh, confirms kind of what you always say, you know, that the Bible says. Is that um, you, uh, when God delivers you from something and you go back 10 times worse than before. And it says right there in verse 19, and it came to pass when the judge was dead. 
that they returned and corrupted themselves more than their fathers in following other gods to serve them, and it bowed down unto them. They ceased not from their own doings, nor from their stubborn way. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel. And he said, because that this people have transgressed my covenant, which I commanded their fathers and have not hearkened unto my voice, I also will not henceforth drive out uh, any from before them of the nation, which Joshua left when he died. Consequence for their action. But in mm -hmm. this, what you just read, they went in there, what he's talking about, those children of Israel, they went in there and start doing yeah. what the others were doing. Mm -hmm. Jesus went in to bring them mm -hmm. out. Amen. Okay. Jesus went in. He forgave um, Zacchaeus his sins. He brought him out. Mm -hmm. he brought him out, not just out the door, but brought him out of his um, ways. Yeah. But um, no, what they're talking about there, those children went in there and they started. This is why uh, God told them whenever they went in, would go into some places, go in there, kill everything standing, except if he give them an except. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't, what does it say with those women? Kill them. Mm -hmm. Because if not, they're going to corrupt you. Mm -hmm. And this is what he's talking about when you go in something and he take you out of it and you go back in and mm -hmm. it's much worse. Why? Mm -hmm. Because you didn't come out. You stayed in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Say, for instance, you go into mm -hmm. the club, you've been going to the club and um, now you've become a Christian. So mm -hmm. you decide you're going to go back in there. Maybe you go in there with all good intentions. OK, now you go in there. And you have your cup of little drinks or whatever, and then this start getting good and feeling good. You're going to forget about God. Mm -hmm. Now, you're not coming out right then. That's what he's talking about. Yeah. But if you go in there with a different attitude, not attitude of nastiness, yeah. but it's like with that right. loving kindness, you're going yeah. in there to meet a friend. Man, have a woman have a drink. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't think so. It's not right now. Uh-uh, no, I don't do that anymore. If they can't persuade you, they're going to look at you differently. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with them? What's getting wrong with them? But don't ever, what the Bible said, don't think yourself more highly than anybody else. Mm -hmm. Because when we put on that, ooh, some people kill you with that. When we put on that sm special snarly look, mm -hmm. do you realize that can turn people off? Yes. Mm -hmm. This is why the Bible says with loving kindness, mm -hmm. I can draw you out by the way I walk. Yeah. Yeah. I can draw you out by the way I talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to stand there when they are in their sin. Oh, you're going to go to hell. No, that's not what you do. Mm -hmm. You just live your life mm -hmm. and let them see. Jesus didn't do that. He didn't hit people across the head with Bible. Mm -hmm. He helped them, did he not? Yeah, man. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Okay. Amen. I finished. Okay. Oh, we have Moses' song, um, verse one, chapter thirty-two, verse one through three. Uh, Brother Hutchings. Amen. Verse thirty-two. Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. Too, my doctrine shall drop. As the rain, my speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. And three, because I will publish the name of the Lord, ascribe ye greatness unto our God. All right, just read the commentary before we expound on that, please. Uh, for, you got for it? chapter 32, verse 1, it says, the commentary says, using a figure of speech by which and inanimate objects are addressed. Uh, apostrophe Moses appealed to the heavens and the earth to hear the words of his mouth, to serve as witnesses to what the Lord was about to say to the song of Moses and, and to the tacit response of commitment by the nation. And okay. Thir mm -hmm. And 32 2 commentary says Moses' prayer was that Israel would not be like. The hardened and thor thorny souls of Jesus' parable, in reference to Mark four one through nine. Rather, he wanted them to be like tender herb and sprouting grass. 
Amen. All right, we know what Mark 4 is, 1 through 9. Mm -hmm. the, um, seeds planted on stony ground, fertile mm -hmm. ground. Yeah. Okay. Anybody want to expound on those verses? Mm -hmm. Remain remain teachable and coachable. That's what he's telling them. You know, mm -hmm. be humble enough to where you're able to be taught and you're able to receive what's being taught to you um, mm -hmm. and humble enough to know that you don't know it all. And so therefore you're listening and, and forever seeking and forever being hungry. The same thing that he tells us to do today. Yeah. You know, because he starts that off. In other words, he said, hear me mm -hmm. right there mm -hmm. when he first started off. And this is what we don't do. And that's the reason why it says you often hear me say, whenever you read in the Bible, don't just read it silently to yourself. Yeah. Read it out loud where you can hear it. Yeah. And it, because you can't all, you can't always have people preaching to you or uh, whatever. So you are responsible for your own knowledge. Amen. Okay. This is good if you don't know and you can't help yourself, but it's good to read it out aloud. Sometimes if you don't know, not sometimes, study it. Yeah. yeah. Look up what you don't know. Yeah. If there's a word in there, you, and sometimes you'd have to realize a word like but, but, mm -hmm. uh, and, that changes the whole context. Yeah. Don't just read through it. Read it, listen to yourself reading it, mm -hmm. and understand what you're reading. Mm -hmm. Because he said, my people perish for the lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And how are we going to get knowledge study to show thyself approved unto God a workman needeth not be ashamed of rightfully dividing that word of truth. Mm -hmm. And like he get, we are skipping over some of these places that they refer us to go to. But whenever you are studying, don't skip over anything. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. go there. And also in your references, sometimes you have to write those down and compare them to the place where you are studying in order to get a true understanding. understanding yeah. Because yeah. the only way you can run with that smoothly, you have to know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if you don't, it's a, it's a lost cause. Everybody will know that you don't know. Praise God. Mm -hmm. So just, just study to show thyself approved. Okay. Because mm -hmm. once you rightly divide that word truth, he said, if you don't do what you know to do is right, it becomes well, a sin unto you. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Didn't he say it? Didn't yeah. he say it? Yes, he did. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And that's kind of frightening. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Lord. Okay. And once, yeah. you, once you get to know him truly, you can never deny him again because you can't say you don't know. Yeah. You can deny him all you want to. Mm -hmm. That's a consequence for your action. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what the Jews were doing. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Who wouldn't know somebody who brought them out of Egypt? Yeah. They know of him. Yeah. yeah. But when they would deny him, what would they do? I chastened those who I'm, I love to get a, they got a fairly good whipping. Mm. Some died for their disobedience. The snakes yeah. bit them and they died. Mm -hmm. A whole a slew of them died that wouldn't even allow them to cross over. Yeah, complain. Uh, Yes, complaining. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. They knew of him. Yeah. Just like a lot of us know of him, but we, it doesn't matter. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a just and right God. Oh. Verse, um, starting there, verse four through uh, 14. You'll probably be stopped right there, Brother uh, Thompson. Amen. Uh, verse four. He is the rock. Come on. His work is perfect. Amen. For all his ways are judgment. A God of truth and without iniquity. Just mm -hmm. and right is he. Let's Come stop on. right there. That's just yes. too Come powerful. On. That's too powerful to mm -hmm. uh, pass up. Mm -hmm. We used to sing a song, Jesus is the rock in the weary land. Yes. yes. He is the rock. Rock of my salvation. Oh, he's a rock. Ooh, come on now. That's mm -hmm. it. This is just so powerful. Mm -hmm. And before you go any place, just read the commentary on that. And while you're reading mm -hmm. that, someone get um, uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 4. Uh, 
someone get what is that? Probably a read verse fifteen or something like that. Okay. Amen. The pivot, the rock, describes the Lord as both a firm and secure foundation upon whom one can build and in whom one can trust for salvation, and a companion who is able to lead one the trackless deserts of life. Amen. 10, uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 4 says, and did all drink the same spiritual drink? Oh. They drank of the spiritual rock that followed them. And that rock was Christ. Come on. Come on now. That is just so powerful. And what did he tell us? We have to build our house on a firm foundation. Yes. We build it on the rock because if we build it on sand, the rain is going to come along and wash that wash sand away. away. But if we build our house on the rock, mm. it's going to stand. Mm. And that rock is Jesus Christ. Come on. Oh, Only God what you do for God will last. Come on mm. now. Then it says but, spiritual drink. Yeah, Even come hunger on. and awesome. thirst awesome. shall be filled. Ooh, yeah. I'll give you water. You won't have to thirst yeah. no more. Okay. Amen. Why come is on, coming God. out of that rock? Praise God. Jesus uh, is the rock of our salvation. Man. That one verse right there was just had so much in it. I'm telling uh, you. Praise huh. God. Yes. Now, okay. And then he says, in God of truth and without iniquity, meaning he stands on the side of truth. You can't persuade him any other way. Right. It's without iniquity. You know, a lot of people nowadays, we see even our politicians and everything else. You can pay them a little bit. They'll go on this side. Pay them yes. something. They'll go on that side. But he said he stand on the side of truth without iniquity. Yes. Ooh, you can't. And just and right as he. He yes, on right. come on now. Yes. Ooh, he don't care who. No respect the persons. He gonna be just. Yes. What did Jesus say? Ooh. He says Man. he is the truth and the life. Yeah. Yeah. So we know that he's a rock of our salvation. Mm. Praise God. That was just powerful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Verse mm -hmm. five. Amen. Verse five. They have corrupted themselves. Um, their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a perverse and crooked generation. All right. That was uh, interesting, too. Yeah. Uh, what did it say? They have corrupted themselves. Mm -hmm. Remember, the, uh, the Bible says that God knows out every word, thought, and deed. Yeah. He knows when we are right, and he knows when we are wrong. So mm -hmm. if we corrupt ourselves, we can't blame that on God. And mm -hmm. it says, um, they said that spot, what did it say there? Mm -hmm. um, their spot is not of his children. In other words, if you are in sin, you're not of him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're in sin, you're not of him. Mm -hmm. They are the per per perverse and crooked generation. If mm -hmm. you have that sin upon you, you're not staying on that straight and narrow path. Amen. You're going the way of Satan. Yeah. But don't get it crooked. Don't get it twisted. Satan can tempt you with some good stuff. Yeah. Come but on. we have to be like the Lord Jesus when he was in the wilderness. Mm. Mm -hmm. He was hungry. He was thirsty. Mm. And here comes Satan. Mm. A lot of times we're hungry and thirsty after the things of this world. Yeah. Yeah. But everything that looks good to us yeah. is not always good for us. Amen. So Amen. what do we have to do? We have to stand on the rock and Amen. ask God to deliver us from that um, temptation. Yeah. Yeah. Do like Jesus. Mm -hmm. Throw the word of God at that Amen. temptation. Come on. Will we be tempted in this life? Of course we will. Mm -hmm. we're living and breathing, we Amen. will. But just remember, you're not tempted by God. Amen. Only Satan is going to put those things. And that's why I said a lot of times when we're praying aloud, when we're talking aloud, oh, you're going to see this in here as well. But um, <laughs> Satan has his little demonic spirit 
it's working 24 7. Yeah. They're there to hear everything you say. They can't read your mind. Mm -hmm. They can drop things into your mind, but they can't read your mind. So they are there listening to what you're praying for, mm -hmm. what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So now they're, they're on their job. They're working. Yeah. But we have to remember Jesus in that wilderness. Mm -hmm. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. So yeah. we have to know that word in order to throw it at him. Yeah. Because don't get it twisted. Satan knows this, that Bible better than we ever had time to. Yeah. Yeah. He was up there trying to raise his mountains above God's mountain, was he not? Yeah. Yes, he was. If he challenged God, he was right there in the um, Garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. Was he not? Mm -hmm. And the same way um, Eve fell into that trap. Mm -hmm. We're yeah. no different. Amen. We're no different. Amen. We may think things are different. They're no different. Yeah. Yeah. But we have to drink the what is it, that spiritual drink. Yeah. That's coming from mm -hmm. above. That spiritual water. Yes. Yeah. That's mm. going to penetrate through us. Mm. Remember the water that ran out of the side of Jesus on that cross. Mm. Ask them to mm. wash it, wash it with mm. it sometime. Yeah. Mm. That blood, let that blood flow yeah. over. So you can continuously stand on the rock. Mm. Okay, this book that was mm. Amen, amen. Um, verse six. <clears throat> Do ye thus requite the Lord, O foolish people and unwise? Is not he thy father that hath brought thee? Hath he not made thee and established thee? Oh, that's a good one right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it said, has he not brought thee? He brought you out of Egypt. Yes, he did. It says, uh, have he not made thee? He created you. Yeah. Had he not give you, given you everything that you have? He's established you. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Amen. Praise he's Lord. all. Oh, there's a song. He's all that I need. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's yes. all that I need. Not yeah. some things, but he's okay. all that I need. But yeah. people often, mm, mm. they often, what do we say? Me, myself, and I. Yeah. 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 I did yeah. this. Yeah. I got that. Mm -hmm. But my Bible says he brought thee. Mm. He made thee. Mm. He established thee. Mm. And if people could just remember one thing, and nothing else. We cannot take a breath. Come on. Unless he gives it to us. Amen. You can hook people up on um, life support, but that's yes. that machine pumping. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times you take that machine away, it's all over. Mm -hmm. God gives you everything that you have. He has established mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have to look at. We are nothing. We are... We're just the dust. Yes. But it's in Genesis uh, three nineteen. You from dust. Uh, from dust I art to dust mm -hmm. I shall return. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if we would remember that, yeah, we're nothing and we're nobody. Yeah. God is the ultimate. All right. Mm -hmm. so, okay. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Verse seven. Uh, remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will show thee. Thy elders, and they will tell thee. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we went over that, but he's mm -hmm. telling you. Don't forget. Look back mm -hmm. over mm -hmm. the scriptures. Yeah. Look mm -hmm. back and see where he's brought you from. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then look back if you want to get personal. Look back in your life. Come on. I can look back in mine. I can't look back in yours. Come on. And see where he's brought you from. Yeah. yeah. And then when I say, had it not been for the Lord on myself, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where would I be right now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This Bible is just awesome. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Wait a minute. We have to stop there. That yeah. word separated. Mm -hmm. Separate. Yeah. When he separated the sons of Adam. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Yeah. We know it too. Come on now. He mm. separated mm. the good yeah. from the evil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Mm. And today he's still, what did he say? He will separate the tear from the wheat. From the wheat. That's it. Yeah. Come on. The good from the bad. Mm. They grow together. Come on now. They can grow together. But God will, he'll be the one to separate. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Verse nine, for the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is a lot of his inheritance. Mm. 10, he found him in a desert land in, in the waste howling wilderness. He led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. Mm. As an eagle stirreth up her nest, flutter, fluttereth over her young, spreadeth abroad her wings, taketh them, beareth them on her wings. So the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no strange God with him. Mm. He made him ride on the high places of the earth, that he may eat the increase of the fields, and he made him to suck honey out of the rock and oil out of the flinty rock, butter of pine and milk of sheep with the fat of lambs and rams of the breed of bashan and goats with the fat of kidneys of wheat. And thou didst drink the pure blood of the great. Mm. All right, let's just go back up there to verse nine. What does it say? Uh, for the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob. Okay, he wasn't talking about Jacob, Jacob. Who was he talking about there? Israel. Israel. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go down there and let's just cover the let's cover the commentary on eight. Did we do eight? Eight? Yeah, start with uh, eight. Let's cover that. It says Israel's special place in the redemptive program of the Lord is clear from the fact that when he determined where the nations would dwell, mm -hmm. he did so with the children of Israel, especially in mind. Mm -hmm. The table of nations of Genesis 10 focus on Shem and his descendants, mm -hmm. drawing particular attention to Eber, for whom the Hebrews were named. Mm -hmm. Abram, the ultimate father of Israel, was an Eberite, thus establishing the connection between Israel and Eber, the central individual of the table of nations. Israel's role as the nation's chosen out of all the others is a major um, theme, Old Testament theme. I thought that was really interesting. Yeah. He took us all the way back. As I said, whenever mm -hmm. you're reading, you have to know that the between, difference between, because he changed um, Jacob's name to Israel. Mm -hmm. He's not talking about the multitude. He's talking mm -hmm. about one man. But yeah. here he's referring to the nation of Israel. Israel, mm -hmm. okay, and um, it yeah, says it the children back. of Israel right there. Yeah, it goes uh, back to what we studied when um, in Genesis when Pastor said you can't just skip over those names and we took some time and went through the names mm -hmm. of him and that's part two what he said before separating those sons because you saw the Shem, Ham, and the Japheth, and then we went on down to count their lines, and men began to call on the name of God out in the open of worship. We saw that. We saw all that. Um, we went through all those lines, you know, mm -hmm. of, of who begot who when we started going into that. So it's important there because it's funny. It's making reference back to that. And it's uh, also, too, in the New Testament, when it starts talking about Jesus, it starts popping out his line first, you know, who he came from to show That's right. your resume and who he was, you know. And it says, anyone... what is only hinted at in verse eight is clear here. Israel is the Lord's chosen people. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That's but when he's talking about in that verse Jacob, he means uh, Israel. I think it would behoove people to study this particular, I'd say, from yeah. eight down to fourteen, yeah. and get a clear understanding of what he's talking about there, because it's a lot there in yeah. those verses. Okay. Amen. Amen. And then with him uh, telling you. So what is this? Remember in the days, and he tells you how he separated Adam's uh, sons. Mm -hmm. And like she said, but look at that and mm -hmm. find out who Shem really was. Go back, find out who he was. Yeah. 
find out who those brothers and because people are talking today about um, uh, who's who, Israel this and Israel that, and where this, remember we did that at the church, mm -hmm. showing where um, mm -hmm. Ham's people went down into Egypt. Yeah. Japheth and Shen, mm -hmm. where they settled. And that will give us a good idea where the Chinese came from, the uh, darker nation came from, and the lighter nation. Mm -hmm. And the Bible also tells you so a lot of the people that call themselves Jews today are not, and we know that to be true. Amen. We know that to be true. Amen. It says uh, God's word is true and the man is a liar. Amen. So we have to stick to what the Lord says. But I would say read this and get a clear understanding because there's a lot in these verses. I'm sorry we took up so much time in this. No, I'm not. No, you're not. <laughs> so, <laughs> we have to study. If we want to know, yeah. just don't read it and leave it. Yeah. The same way it takes us some time to get through it. That's the way it should. There's no time in God. He didn't say we have to finish it today or tomorrow. That's right. Brother Chris gave that disclaimer at the beginning. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Turn it back over to you, Brother Hudson. Amen. Thank you. We're going to go around for final comments. Uh, Brother Thompson. Amen. I was sort of, um, I would sort of go off what um, Pastor just said. It, it reminded me of, you know, when I was younger and I used to always have a question about, you know, um, if he knows our beginning and our end, you know, why is he giving us all these sort of laws and sort of um, telling us how, you know, we should live if he already knows what's going to happen. And as Pastor was saying, you know, and as we always say every week, study to that show thyself approved. And when you sort of go dive deeper into these these um, verses and these um, books, you know, you will find your answer. And like you were saying, it may not um, come to you today, but if you keep reading, you will, you know, get your answer. Amen. 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 Reverend Hutchie. I, I, each time I open the Bible, I, 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 there's a joy that comes that some, that God allowed every, um, his inspired uh, men to write these down so that we today can have it as an example. Um, back in the days, they didn't have these words written down like we have it right now. The first um, writing you can see is when Moses went up into, into the mountain and, and got the, the commandments of God and write it down on those tables. Those are their first writing. They learn by example. We don't have to, to be the example to learn. God already, already put these words right here for us to go back and see their fault, to see where they fall so that we can stand, to see where they went wrong so that we can go right. You know, mm -hmm. so all we have to do as, as pastor and, and, and brother uh, Mitch and, and, uh, and all of us here has been saying, study, pick up this book and not just read. Study so that you can understand and see what God is saying and see the mistakes and see where to go and so your eyes can be open. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Reverend Thompson. Um, I just want to say um, what my mother used to do all the time growing up, and I still have those books, and I still practice this, and I still instill this in my children. It's a faith book she had us keep from young, and we would write, you know, whatever we were praying for on one side, and then on the other side when God answered it, mm -hmm. and that was um. So when we went through times where you you are human, where it gets to the point where you're like, oh, I don't know, or I'm going through a battle, we were able to go back into those faith books and see God answer this, he's going to do it again. And so that's my advice uh, today, to take something tangible, because looking at this is saying, remember the days of old. And you want to remember when God has delivered you. So write it down, you know, write what your prayer requests are. And then when God answers them so that you don't get high and mighty and think more of yourself than you are because you're able. I still go back to those faith books and I still keep the faith book and I have plenty of them now 
just where God answers prayer. And then there's stuff I didn't even ask for, but he gives, you know, so you go back and look at it so that you're able when Satan tries to, as pastor say, drop stuff in your head and tell you, no, he's not going to answer or no, he's not going to do this. And that doubt starts to set in. You're able to go back and say, no, he's done it before. He'll do it again. Amen. Amen. So I would say just keep a faith book, you know, um, because you're able to see on paper, write the vision and make it plain. You're able to see what God has brought you from, you know, and um, also I want to give honor to our spiritual mother. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's uh, we thank Day. God for her every day, but um, especially time to honor because uh, spiritually, you know, pouring in is hard work. We understand it's hard work, you know, correcting us and making sure that we have a good grip of this word and yeah. pouring into us. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts, you know, you. that, that you pour into us the way you do and you love us the way you do. And, and it does not go unnoticed. So I want to say thank you so much for what you're doing. You're not only showing us the way, but you're, you're showing us by example. You're not just telling yeah. us. And that means the world. It really does. Thank you. That goes twice. Amen. Amen. You couldn't have said it better. <laughs> Amen. 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 Well, you know, some people just want to try to make me cry. But I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I would just say, just know that God's word is true. Yeah. We're living in prayerless times, as the Bible has told us. And he also told us it's going to get worse before it gets better. However, those of us who are cleaving to his word, and trying to do his will his way. He says that we have to go through, mm -hmm. but he will give us rest while we're going through. Mm -hmm. We also know that we're going to come up against all type of trials and tribulations. We know that we are human, yeah. just like everybody else. We hurt, we cry, we moan, we groan. But with those groanings should be our prayer to him. Because sometimes we can't even pray. We get to that point. But just know that God knows our hearts, our minds, and our soul. Mm -hmm. He knows us. But he says better is the end of a thing than the beginning. Mm -hmm. So what we have to do is just hold on, regardless of what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Study his word. Mm -hmm. Don't get too high-minded. Because the same God that elevated us mm -hmm. will let us go back down. Yes. We see that with the Israelites. And I thank God that he chose that nation where we will have a learning point, a starting yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. So let's just keep doing, everybody, keep doing the will of God. Amen. And ask yourself and ask us and we'll tell you, is it going to be easy? No, it's not easy all the time. But oh, how sweet it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, how sweet it is. And whenever we get through it, we look back and the only things I say, Lord, I just want to thank you. <laughs> so just be blessed and keep on loving on the Lord, loving on your neighbors, Amen. and doing the will of God. Amen. 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 There you have it. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, thank you for this wonderful Bible study. We pray that we will go out and apply your word to our lives each day. Help us make this a discipline of the mind and heart, empowered by your spirit, transforming us each day more and more into your likeness. Help us have a self-awareness of when we're falling into temptation mm -hmm. and turn quickly back to you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your continued grace and mercy, love ever leading us onward. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. 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 All right, we have a few announcements. Uh, our Sunday sermon will be scheduled to broadcast in five minutes. So we'll get you out of there in time for you to enjoy the Sunday word. Uh, so Sunday, and it'll be posted on Ministries Hope Facebook page as well as YouTube and Instagram. And again, that starts at 1030. Uh, we have Bible studies live on Facebook and YouTube every Wednesday night, which is a continuation of today's Bible study. And that starts at 6 p.m. Uh, we invite you to uh, join us on our uh, prayer line. That number is 605-313-5388 with an access code of 379-088-POUND. 
the Lord is really doing great things on that prayer line, and uh, we certainly invite you out and hope that you show up on that prayer line. Uh, again, um, uh, Sunday School, which we had today, is every Sunday at 9.30 a.m., again, on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, donations to this ministry can be made at our website at ministriesofhopechristianchurch.com, use the square of PayPal. Again, we wish all the mothers a happy Mother's Day, and uh, mm-hmm. may you have a very blessed day and enjoy your day. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you uh, hopefully uh, our next hit time on our prayer line too Amen. tonight. Amen. Again, uh, Amen. Uh, uh, be blessed by our word coming up at ten thirty a.m. Amen. Amen. Happy Mother's Day. Happy, happy Mother's, Mother's Day. day. Yes, sir.